friends, it's Sydney from Sid Plans It Out. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing kind of like an update, I guess, on how I'm using my budget planner. So, um, okay, first thing, I'm going to grab a couple pieces of paper from the back. I threw this paper in after I had already, um, set this up and I was like, maybe I should put some paper in there. So I just, so I grabbed a couple piece of pieces of paper. Yikes, words are hard. Okay, so I have this um, monthly layout that I set up with all of my bills on it. And actually I'm missing a bill because I kind of forgot about it, but it goes here. So I guess I'll just write that in real quick. Um, I think that was the only one I was missing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what I, I was trying to figure out a way to make it so like I can see, I've tried like so many different ways on making it so I can see like what bills in order to like break up my bills and not just like you know, this paycheck pays all of these bills plus the bills at the beginning of February until I get paid again. Like that's not the most effective way to use my money. And I know that, but I've been really struggling to figure out how I want to do it and what's going to make sense in my brain. So what I decided to do, um, I'm going to move this off to the side because I don't think I need it right now. But what I did was I made these little, like, you know, they have those calendars that, um, like the one page calendar sheets and I have some of them, but I kind of thought, you know, I might as well just make some that way I can use those other ones for like cuter things. You know, you know how it is. Your brain is like, oh, you can't use that because you need to use that for something like more decorative. So I just printed these off. They're just on like normal paper. Um, I printed them through May. So I'll just stick those in my planner and have those for when I need them. But also this way they were already numbered and I didn't have to number them. I mean, I did, but not by hand. <laughs> okay. So I have this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some mild liners. So I'm just going to grab these two. I like these colors and I'm going to highlights the days that I get paid. So there's one payday for January. And then here's the next payday for January. So some of these bills, because I hadn't figured this out yet, some of these bills are like, were already paid and they've been paid like with my other paycheck. So I'm just going to write those in and then just kind of like check them off. And this will make more sense once I actually get into like what I'm planning on doing here, but this is where I'm at right now. Oh, and then I had an after pay for a sweatshirt right there. Okay. So these things are paid done. Got them. Great. These paydays. So these are paydays right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to fill this out with my budget or like with my, not with my budget, with my bills that need to be paid. And I'm also going to do the beginning of February because that stuff is going to be, um, part of this paycheck, some of that stuff. So I'm going to put those in, um, and I'm just going to put like, Oh, actually what I wanted to do before this, my brain. Okay. So what I need to do first is I need to write all of them down. So I guess I will grab my planner here. I was like, Oh no, I can just remember them, but no, I should probably, I should probably write them down. And I want to write down when they go through. So Patreon rent. I don't know if you can see that. Um, <laughs> let's see. And for rent, I'm just going to go with like 900, um, because if I need like a couple extra dollars, that's not a big deal to me. 
And if I'm doing this correctly, it shouldn't be a big deal just in general. So there's that. Okay. Netflix on the seventh. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to write all of these things down onto this piece of paper, and then I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do from there with this and this came by. So I wrote all of, oh no, I didn't. I lied. I'm a liar. Okay. Now I wrote all of them out. Okay. So I wrote all of them out there. So now I can put this to the side because I do not need it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to think through like how many times I went. So I get paid twice a month, obviously, um, every other week. And well, I guess it's not always twice a month. It's every other week, technically, because sometimes you get three, which is always fun, but you know, okay. So this one, $9.99, that's a small payment. So I'm just going to pay it in one. This 900, I want to pay in two. So I'm going to take that and divide it by two, which is 450, but you know, just to check, <laughs> you could never be too careful. And then this one, I would also like to pay in two. So I'm pretty sure that's 75. Oh no, it's only 72, but I made it 75 for the sake of, first of all, an even number, second of all, for paying it off faster. Cause that's one of my credit cards and I would like to pay that off quicker if possible. Okay. Netflix. I can pay that in one Citibank, which is another credit card that I need to get rid of. I should pay that in two. That one divides perfectly. It's 45. So I'll put it as 45. I'll probably end up paying more than that though. Spotify is only 9.99. So I just need one. Um, this I would like to pay in two. So it's 79.025. So we're just going to make it 80. <laughs> Twice 80. All good. All right. 149 divided by two. So pretty much any of the bigger payments I'm breaking into two. And then the smaller payments I will leave um, just as one. So that's about, we'll make that 75. Uh, this one will make 38 and I'm just rounding them all up because it's a little bit easier that way um, for my brain, for math and all that good stuff. So this one I would like to pay into, so we'll make it 36. This one divides evenly to be 37. This one comes out to 47.7, so we'll make it 48. And then this one can just be that. So this is ideally how I would like to do this. However, because I'm just starting this, it's going to take a little bit of finagling to make it work. So the first time it's probably gonna be different, but we're gonna do what we can. So I'm just gonna start and I'm going to fill this in and just do this first paycheck. That's it. And then maybe the second paycheck, or maybe I'll come back and do it in a different video. I'm not sure yet, but okay. So Netflix, I know I'm paying in one. So we're just going to put one box here. Um, let's see, this is on the ninth. So this one, ideally I would like to pay in two. However, since this is like the beginning of me trying out this system, I'm going to have to pay it in one, which is not ideal, but we're gonna make it all work out in the end. I went through and I've written this out like six different times to try to see if I could make it work the way that I want it to, and I think I've gotten it. So this is what we're going with. Okay, so Spotify, that would be a one-time payment anyway because it's just $9.99, so I would pay that all at once usually anyway. So then this one I'm going to have to pay. So all of these ones, normally I would like to pay twice, but I'm going to have to pay them once in order to make my, um, budget work 
in the long run, if that makes sense. So like for this paycheck, this is going to not be the most ideal route. And this paycheck is going to have less on it than I would like for it to, or like I'm going to get less out of it than I would like to, but that just means that I have to really pay attention and really push and really want to make this work, which I do. So hopefully I can make it work. The only other thing that I'm trying to figure out is if I want to like take this money out of the bank and then put it back in the bank, like the week before all these bills go through, if I just want to move it to another account, like I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. So, oops, that doesn't go there. Um, so we'll see kind of how that goes. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one yet. Um, but I will figure it out. I think I'm just going to move it. Um, that way I don't have like all that cash out of the bank. It would be great because then I wouldn't spend it, but also like having all of that kind of worries me a little bit. Just, you know, it's just one of those things. It's like, Ooh, I don't know if I want that or not. Ooh. So yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. I am going to need to start the February one. So I will show you, um, just to make sure that I'm getting this correct. So February. So let's grab, you know, if it's going to be money, I might as well make it pretty, right? Right. So let's grab this purple and let's put February up here as long as I can spell it right. Which I'm really not confident that I can. So let me look. Okay. No, I was going to spell it right. Okay. Okay. I'm just never sure, you know, I don't know why I started it like started that like that, but it's fine. This doesn't need to be beautiful. It's just for me to make it a little more interesting to look at. Okay. So, um, I'm not going to put, I'm going to put the paydays in, but I'm not going to like do the rest of them. If that makes sense. Um, I'm going to wait until February rolls around to see like kind of where I'm at and what I can do. Like if I have extra money because of, um, not spending and stuff like that. So that'll be a payday and this will be a payday. So I'm going to put these away cause I don't need those right now. Cause we're not going to be doing like the February part of the budget, but I do need to put, so Patreon, that'll have one. And I know this seems a little bit ridiculous, but I, like I said, I've already written this out. I've probably gone through like six pieces of paper trying to like figure out how I want to do this so that I can make it like logical so that I can explain it to you. Because I think that like once it's all written out and explained, it makes a lot of sense. And I think for a lot of people, like I'm very visual. So to me, this method is fantastic for other people who maybe aren't as visual then it's, it might not be as useful, but to me, this is what I need to make this work in my head. So like I've tried just writing it out, like just writing it out like this. I tried this, but I couldn't make it work. But then I wrote it out like on this and it made so much more sense. So this is how I'm going to do this. Okay. So I have all the things, like I said, I already wrote this out once. So I do have one like off to the side to try to like help my brain, but just so you're not like where, like how, um, I already did all this math, but okay. So the first one is going to be, um, I need this. Okay. Oh, actually let's just do it with this. So one, seven. 
Um, okay, so for the seventh, what I'm going to have to pay, I'm going to have to pay Netflix because it's on that paycheck. So there's that. And then to make it make sense in my brain, so I have payday there. So now that one's done with this, if that makes sense. I know it seems a little bit extra maybe to some people, but in my brain, this works so much better. Like this just makes sense to be like, okay, these all go together. And then, like I said, for this first paycheck, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I think I am just going to go ahead. Yeah, this hasn't been super long as of right now. We'll see. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the second part as well. Um, how much was this again? There we go. I was like, I don't remember all the numbers. They start to blend together at some point, you know? Okay. So I have this, 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 and this on this paycheck. Fantastic. So the next thing that I need is I need one of all of these things and these things because so if I do okay so I have two paychecks right but if I pay but like in order to get two times for these ones I need this paycheck and this paycheck if that makes sense because if I only use like this paycheck then that's only going to be one because I don't get paid again until the 11th so, wait, no, I don't get paid there. I get paid there because I don't know how map, um, I don't know how calendars work, do I? Wow, you guys, why didn't you say something? I bet you did. I bet you were like, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. How can you get paid every other week? But that's not the other week. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well that makes a little bit of difference, not a huge difference to what I did before, but as you can see, this is why I needed this written out visually, because my brain works very visually. Obviously not as visually as I thought though. Because, yeah, so if I have like one, two, then the next Friday would be when I get paid. Y'all, this is gonna make a little bit of a difference. Not a huge difference, a little bit of a difference though to what I was doing but the explanation still stands. I'm glad I figured that out before I started doing like my February monthly and all that good stuff. Hopefully I would have figured it out before that, but I mean, you never know. Okay, so there's real life. I don't know how every other week works, but I got it, I figured it out. Okay, so this one I don't need until that one. So I need these two, half of those two as well, because I need it all to be like one of each if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is, so normally I would divide these in half and they would be 36, 37, 48, right? But, oh, and then like discover would be 75. But because, well, actually no, let's try it maybe. Let's just write them all out first. So Hulu, Ever G, Progressive. And then I would like half of Rent and then part of Discover. So this one, I definitely want half. Like I for sure want half of that, definitely, definitely. So let's mark that I have these. this one and this one. So they might not be exactly half for this one, but they're going to be like part of it. So originally what I had done was I did 20 for Hulu. So it's like a little bit short of half. 
you know what, let's do 30 for Hulu, which is like $6 short of half, right? Because 36 would be about half. And then let's do 30 for Evergy, which is $7 short of half. So I think that's okay. And then we'll do, let's do 40 for Progressive. And then we'll do, um, yeah, we'll do 75. We'll, we actually will do half for Discover. Okay, so now what I can do is I can add all of this up and then it'll tell me, whoops, that was a good start, um, where I'm at with my spending for that. Oh no, I messed up. All right, plus 90, 9.99. Some of these numbers are just so weird. My brain is like, no, you can't, you, you can't do that. Wow. How did I end up with such a bigger number? I took something away and I ended up with a bigger number. Well, I don't like that. So we are going to, oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. 10, 15. 40, yeah. Okay, so we're going to put this at 20. That's, okay, that's better. Okay. So this will be all of my bills, like the cost of all of my bills for this pay period. But I'll have $450 to go towards my rent and towards like all of these other bills when I get paid again. So for the 21st, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna put it next to it. So 121, when I get paid again, I need to pay the rest of Hulu. Okay, I need to pay Evergy. I need to pay Progressive. So we'll do Hulu, Evergy, progressive. And maybe this is confusing, but like maybe to somebody, somebody else whose brain also kind of works like mine, it also makes sense. Hopefully, hopefully that's my goal here is that this makes sense to somebody else and not just me, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know if this makes sense to anyone else. So I know that I have 30 for Hulu already. It's 71.55. So I need 41.55 to finish paying that bill. For Evergy, I know it's 74 and I will have put away 30. So I'll need 44 more dollars. And then I know for Progressive, it's, oops, 95.40. And I will have put away 20. So I'll need 75.40. Now, I also know that I need Paramount, which is $4.99. Anybody else feel like there's too many streaming services and you just can't keep up? Or is that just me? <laughs> I feel like there's too many. Okay, um, Patreon will also go on this one because I won't get paid until after that. So there's that one. And then I'll need the rest of rent, which I'm just gonna say is 450. And what I'll probably do is I'll go back in and like actually put what the rent equaled because it's going to be um, a little bit less than that actually. Or it might be a little bit less or a little bit more than that depending on what it actually ends up coming out to. So it'll just be kind of one of those things where I have to be like, mm, do I need that? I don't know. Okay, so now for the rest of this paycheck, what I'll need to do is I'll need to write in like the rest of the bills here. So like Spotify, okay, that one actually didn't matter because it's all gonna go on that one. So I just need the, half of this and half of this to finish this one out. 
So it'll be 45 and then I'll mark 45 and then this one, half of that was oops, uh, 80. So we'll do 80 there. Because then with this paycheck, it'll be like, I'll pay this one and this one and then half of this and half of this and then half of like the ones down here. Hopefully that makes sense. So what I did was I broke them all apart, but I looked ahead to make sure that I was getting all that I needed. Because like in my brain, I always just want to do it by like paycheck by paycheck, but it doesn't really work like that. And it's a lot better if you do it this way. So now I'm like looking ahead. So like I know on the 7th, I need to pay all of these, but then also it'll be beneficial if I keep money aside for these four or five things, because then when it comes to this paycheck, I don't have as much that I need to spend and it will allow me to save more money. So for like this first paycheck, it's probably going to be, I stopped paying attention. I was trying to type and talk. Um, for this first paycheck, it's probably going to be a little bit difficult, right? Like I'm not, like I might struggle a little bit with staying on budget, but I'm going to do my best. But for this paycheck, it's going to be a lot less that I'm spending and I'll have a lot more to put into sinking funds, to put into savings, all of those types of things. So I know for this one, I'm going to have to spend a lot. So 11, 13, 82, but that's because I didn't have anything saved up for these ones. But then when I get to this second paycheck of the month, it's only 825.93, which is still a lot. I understand that, but I have a bajillion streaming services. <laughs> I have, um, you know, I have uh, two credit cards that I'm trying to pay off. Like I have all of this stuff, but now I have like a game plan and like a written out, like this is what we're doing. This is how we're saving money and having it in this format made a lot of sense in my brain to be like, okay, so I get paid, you know, I get paid here and I get paid here, but then I won't get paid again until here. So what things do I need to break up? in order to make it all work out. I hope this made sense to somebody, not just to me, hopefully, maybe, you'll have to let me know. But so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these pages and put them into my planner. So this one I'm going to put at like the front. Um, I'll just put it in front of January because this one I can use over and over and over again. Actually, let's put it at the front of February because I might, because I'm going to need it again when it comes to February. But then these two, I'm going to put in the middle of my February calendar or of my January calendar. That way I can see them and I have them right there to be like, okay, this is, you know, this is what I need. This is where I put all of my money. These are the places that they need to go. This is how much I'm going to spend type of thing. So then I'm going to take these pages and I'm going to put them in here for when I do my February budgeting. And then I just continue to use these pages in the weeklies to write things out. I'm a little behind here. I need to catch up, but this is where I'm at. I think this system is really going to work for my brain. I hope it works for somebody else's brain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give me that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments um, how you guys are doing your budgeting things. And have you found some sort of different way that things work for your brain? Um, let me know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.